Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I have a very special guest with me. She is one of my cutest friends and friend. Her name is Fatiha Ayat. Fatiha is six years old. She got recognition from Congresswoman Grace Meng. She was also mentioned in the address of Minister of Status of Women of Canada, Mariam Monsif. She was invited by U.S. Youth Observer to UN Munira Khalifa in the celebration of UN Day. She has special interest in mathematics. Assalamu alaikum, Mariam. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you? I'm fine, alhamdulillah. So, I'm very happy to have you on my show today. Me too, I'm, ha I'm also happy. I heard that you are my diehard fan, so how did you find out about me? Thank you, Mariam, for asking me this question. Um, I came from New York all the way to New Jersey just to meet you. Uh -huh. so, so last Ramadan, I searched different um, types of surahs. Then I found you. I clicked uh -huh. that video. That video what I saw was Surah Yasin. That was really good. Uh -huh. <laughs> then um, I saw how you recited. That was really good. Then I started knowing that you're from Bangladesh and you're the Hafiz of the Holy Quran. <laughs> then... Um, then I started um, um, reciting the Surah Fil from you. My mom uh, teached me that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so uh, what, wh which school do you go to? I got a PS16 in Corona. Oh, and you live in New York, right? Yeah. Okay, and uh, what's your, fa what's your fa favorite thing to do when you're at home? Like, what's your hobby? My hobby is to um, watch your videos on the TV. <laughs> And, Fati uh, and Fatima's. Oh, you like Fatima's videos yeah. too? So which one's your favorite video from all the videos we made? Like when you took the interview with her. That's oh, really you liked that video? Yeah. yeah, that's one of my favorites too. And what's your favorite color? My favorite color is red and sometimes pink. So what do you do in your free time? I watch your videos, then I try to recite like you, and I try to write like you when you write your Arabic. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what, what do you want to do today? Today I'm going to do two questions. I'm going to recite a surah and I'm going to show you an amazing thing. Okay, you can go ahead. Can you see the surah now? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm going to do the surah al-Baqarah, the last three ayats. Okay, go ahead. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Lillahi ma fis samawati wa ma fil ard وَإِن تُبْدُوا مَا فِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَوْ تُكْفُوا يُحَاسِبُهُمْ بِهِ اللَّهِ فَيَغْفِرُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَوَزِّبُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ آمَنَ الرَّسُولُ بِمَا أُنْزِلَ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ رَبِّهِ وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ كُلٌّ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ لَا نُفَرِّقُ بَيْنَ أَحَدٍ مِنْ رُسُلِهِ وَقَالُوا سَمِيعَنَا وَطَعَنَا غُفْرَنَا رَبَّنَا وَإِلَيْهِ الْمَصِيرُ لَا يُكَلِّفُ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا أُسْعَاهَا لَا مَكْسَبَتَ لَيْهَا مَكْسَبَتْ رَبَّنَا لَا تُوَكِّزْنَا إِنَّ سِينَ أَوْ أَقْتَنَا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تَحْمِلْ أَلَيْنَا إِسْرًا كَمَا حَمَلْتَهُ أَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِنَا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تُحَمِّلْنَا مَا لَا تُقْوَاتَ لَنَا بِهِ وَأَفْوَأَنَّا وَغَفِرْ لَنَا وَرْحَمْنَا أَنْتَ مَوْلَانَا فَانْسُرْنَا عَلَى الْقَوْمِ الْكَافِرِينَ MashaAllah, SubhanAllah, that was Thank so you. beautiful. Thank you. Alhamdulillah, that was really nice. Thank you. Thank you for reciting for me. <laughs> so what are you going to show me today? Today I'm going to show you the mathematical magic in the Quran. Oh, that that's really interesting. <laughs> I can't wait to learn about it. You can start. Okay. So we know that Quran is the only divine book. Mm -hmm. And then I... I thought there must be some mathematical magic in this Quran and then found some. So today I'm going to show you the mathematical magic in the Quran. Okay. Okay, can I start? Yeah. So I have a list. Mm -hmm. 
And in the first column, I have my num I have my numbers of suras, and the second um, column, I have my numbers of verses. For example, surah number one has like seven verses. For example, surah number three has um, two hundred verses. Mm -hmm. And my third column, I have my totals. That means when I add one plus seven, then I'll get eight, right? Mm -hmm. So, like when I add three and when I add the three and two hundred, then I'll get two hundred and three, right? Mm -hmm. So, and my um fourth and my fifth, this one's the odd number, odd columns. This one's my even number, even column, yeah. So, uh, like when I add one plus seven, I get eight. So eight is an even number. So put in the even com number. A column because it's an even number, but I, I cannot put in the odd number because it's not an odd number. Mm -hmm. For example, square number three has 200 in verses. When I add them, they'll get 203. Then it's an odd number, not an even number, so add in the odd one. Mm -hmm. So, like, that that's why I listed all of them. Okay. So, what I observed here is that if you total the odd numbers and the even numbers col column, then for both of them you would get 57. So, what is the relation here? The relation is uh, the, that... Um, I'll get B57 in the other ones and 57 in the, um, even, even in the odds. So, um, so then it'll be 114. So basically, the half of 114 yeah. is 57. Yeah. Mm. That's really amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what, that's, that's the um, main part. No one can do that except Allah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. SubhanAllah. <laughs> The next amazing thing I'm going to show you, Mayam, is that um, we're going to take the repetitive numbers and put it in this box, and we're going to take the non-repetitive numbers and put it in this box. So what is the repetitive numbers? Repetitive numbers are the repeat the numbers that repeats again and again. Like, um, for example, you see the um, 125? Mm -hmm. That is going to be repetitive right again there. right here, right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like 95 is repetitive right there. All right. And the non-repetitives mean that it's not um, repeti repeating again and again. It's only only repeating once. All right. I understand. So, and then, so when I add the rep rep repetitives, then I'll get 7906. And when I add the non-repetitives, then I'll get the um, 4885. Mm -hmm. So when I add the bigger number to this when I divide the bigger number to the smaller number, then I'll get the 1.618. Mayam? Yes? Do you know why 1.618 is a special number? No, I don't. Because it's the golden ratio. Oh. And do you know why, um, it, why the gold, why, why, what is the golden ratio? No. It's all over the world. It's even, it's in the human bodies. It's in, like, in our face and the hands. And it's also in our, it's in the galaxies, it's in the space. Mm -hmm. It's anywhere you can find. It's in nature, flowers, fruits, vegetables. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. I'll show you some other golden ratios in the places in the Quran. Here, the Makkah. Allah has mentioned the word Makkah only once in the Quran. It's in ayat number 3 and... Uh, uh, Surah yeah. number 3, verse yeah. 96. Yeah. Can we say that for me? Sure. In this ayah, um, Bakka actually refers to Mecca, as you have said. Yeah. So, um, now I'm going to show you something cool. Okay. So, you heard the word Bakka? Mm -hmm. Allah has mentioned the word Makkah to Bakka. Mm -hmm. So, so when you do, so now, from the beginning to the word Bakka, there are 29 letters, mm -hmm. and the rest part is 8 letters. So when you divide 29 by 18, you'll get the golden ratio 1.618. Isn't um, it amazing? That's really amazing, yeah. No one's going to do it except Allah. Kaaba is not only in the golden ratio in the Quran, it's also in the real earth. Like from the um, North Pole to... From the North Pole to the Kaaba, it is 7,631 kilometer. And um, from the South Pole to the North Pole, it's 12,000. 
348 kilometers. When you divide them, then you'll get the gold ratio 1.618. How amazing that no one can detect Sabala, right? Yeah, that's really cool. SubhanAllah. Yeah. That is what I wanted to show you today. Oh, that was really cool. That SubhanAllah, was, that was really amazing and I was really impressed. Thank you. So now I'm going to um, I'm going to share with you a few things. Okay. Uh, Fatiha, you are like my younger sister, and I really love you. <laughs> we are still young now, and in the in the rest of our lives, we're going to face lots of troubles and difficulties. So today I'm going to give you two pieces of advice, um, and also from the Holy Quran. And also I will tell you a really interesting story, and I'm sure you'll love that story. It's kind of funny too. Okay. 